The Photon Cannon is a high-energy laser mobile demonstrator, that has used a solid-state laser to destroy mortars and unmanned aerial vehicles. A laser destroys targets with pinpoint precision within seconds of acquisition, then acquires the next target and keeps firing. In recent demonstrations, it used a 10 kW high-energy laser installed on an Oshkosh tactical military vehicle. The demonstrator is the first mobile high-energy laser for counter-rocket, artillery and mortar platform to be built and demonstrated by the US Army. The LAWS is a ship defense system that has so far publicly engaged an unmanned aerial vehicle and a simulated small boat attacker. LAWS uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array which can be tuned to high output to destroy the target or low output to warn or cripple the sensors of a target. The LAWS is designed to be used against low-end asymmetric threats. Scalable power levels allow it to be used on low power to dazzle a person's eye to non-lethally make them turn away from a threatening posture, and increase to 30,000 watts to fry sensors, burn out motors, and detonate explosive materials. Against a vital point on small drones, one can be shot down in as little as 2 seconds. When facing small boats, the laser would target a craft's motor to disable it and make it dead in the water, then repeating this against others in rapid succession, requiring only a few seconds of firing per boat. Targeting the platform is more effective than individual crew members, although the LAD WS is accurate enough to target explosive rockets if on board, whose detonations could kill the operators. Against larger aircraft like helicopters, it is able to burn through some vital components, which would cause it to fall and crash. The Patriot is a surface-to-air missile SAM, system, the primary of its kind used by the United States Army and several allied nations. Although it came to service in 1976, it has been constantly upgraded till this day to adopt new battle environments. Due to its constant upgrades, it still provides an excellent air defense system, and will be upgraded and used in future for many years to come. The M1A3 will be a heavily upgraded version of M1A2 to meet needs of modern warfare. Improvements are to include a lighter 120mm gun, added road wheels with improved suspension, a more durable track, lighter armor, long-range precision armaments, more advanced infrared cameras and laser detectors, advanced computers and many other sensors inside tank. The United States Navy's unmanned carrier launched airborne surveillance and strike U-class program was to develop an autonomous aircraft carrier-based unmanned combat aerial vehicle to provide an unmanned intelligence and strike asset to the fleet. The U-class program had several competing designs and design bases. Northrop Grumman design based on their Northrop Grumman X-47B. Lockheed Martin C Ghost based on RQ-170 Centum. Boeing design based on the Boeing Phantom Ray. General Atomics offered the Sea Avenger, a naval version of their original land-based Avenger. The Northrop Grumman RQ-180 is an American stealth unmanned aerial vehicle surveillance aircraft. The RQ-180 addresses a need for conducting penetrating ISR missions into defended airspace, a mission that was left unattended with the retirement of the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird in 1998. It is equipped with an ASA radar and passive electronic surveillance measures, and may be capable of conducting electronic attack missions. The Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton is an unmanned aerial vehicle under development for the United States Navy as a surveillance aircraft. In tandem with its associated ground control station, it is considered an unmanned aircraft system. 
Developed under the Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Program, the system is intended to provide real-time intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions over vast ocean and coastal regions, continuous maritime surveillance, as well as search and rescue missions, for the U.S. Navy. FAXX is a development and acquisition program for a future sixth-generation air superiority fighter to replace the United States Navy's FA-18 Super Hornet. Beginning in 2030 primary missions include air combat, ground attack, surface warfare and close air support. Other missions can include air-to-air -air refueling, reconnaissance surveillance targets, acquisition and electronic attack. There is consideration for manned unmanned and optionally manned platforms. The F-35 is a multi-role stealth fighter which will replace the F-16 fighters to meet the needs of future air combat. It's currently in final phase of development and testing before it fully comes to service. The F-35 has three main models, the F-35A conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C carrier-based catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. The Virginia class is a highly advanced class of nuclear-powered fast attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. A total of 48 subs are planned, in which 12 are currently now active. The submarines are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions. These silent killers are expected to be in service till 2070. Please make sure to write your ideas or suggestions on what should be the next video. Deciding which should be the right video to make next can be very confusing, and I have made some wrong choices, so please make sure to comment and suggest a great video to make.